So how you doing out there? Welcome to another episode of A Few Minutes with Pat out here on the corner of who did it and why. And it's been a while since I've been asked a business question with all of the cultural questions I've been getting lately, but I finally got asked one and I thought it was pretty good. And the question was, what's the difference between business and economics? And this question is something that we should all think about uh, more deeply, especially in the black community, because we have a tendency to use the words interchangeably. And the two are not the same thing. I made a video. My very first video actually was business is war. And it basically talked about how business was war. Business was the war of acquiring new resources or protecting the resources you already have. It's the art you use, uh, whatever skills or abilities you have at your disposal, be it any resources that you ever already have that are developed, uh, be it any intellectual capacities, any creative capacities, any physical capacities. You use them as leverage to gain new or more resources or to defend the resources that you already have. That's the art of war, uh, but it is distinctly different from economics because economics refers to the management of the resources that you have. So you see the two are very much required to work together because you use business to acquire and to defend the resources. You use economics to determine how you're going to manage the resources that you have at your disposal. So you open a business and through the art of war, through the art of strategy and large scale manipulation, um, and manipulation doesn't always mean a bad thing. Manipulation just means getting other people to move in a way that you want them to move. Sometimes you can manipulate people in a good way where you can get them to move in a way that's beneficial for them without them realizing that it is beneficial for them until later on. Um, you know, and we, we, we like to call that, we do it quite often and we like to call it parenting a lot of the times. Uh, but it's done in other circles too. Uh, but you want to get people to move in a certain way in business. So through the art of manipulation, through the art of strategy, which is basically the overarching theme under which manipulation falls, tactics fall underneath strategy. Through all of those things that we normally think about when we think of war, we go into a certain market or a certain place and we gain the trust of those people. And in gaining their trust, we gain access to their resources. And in gaining access to their resources, we slowly begin to gain control of their resources. And we can then begin to use the resources that we have access to and the resources that we have control of and through economic means, meaning that we can begin to manage those resources to do the things that we want or that we need done in our own community or, or in any group or culture at large. So when we're talking about economics, we're talking about the management of the resources that you already have. When you talk about business, you're talking about defending or acquiring more resources. At 2 million businesses, we have more businesses than any other minority in the country. So what the problem is not necessarily that we need more businesses. We have enough soldiers. We have enough generals. When you think of businesses, you should think of soldiers, battalions, generals, people that are actually on the front lines fighting. What we don't have is any sort of support structure for those businesses. We don't have any sort of economics to go into those businesses. We don't manage our resources in a way that those businesses can survive and thrive. A prime example of that is this. The Asian culture only has 75% of our businesses. They have 25% less businesses than us. But they make over 300 times the amount of money than us. You see how that works out? That $1.1 trillion we like to brag about? All of those resources that come into our community are not being sent to our businesses. If we make $1.1 trillion, 
but our businesses only earn $137 billion, then that means that roughly 90% of our income is not being funneled into our culture or our group. And in actuality, it's going to be less than that because uh, other people are purchasing our products. So in actuality, it's probably more like 95 to 97, 98 percent of our resources are being sent somewhere else. Our economic base, our, the way we manage our resources is not beneficial for us. So when we start thinking about how we're going to improve our community, we need to think of it from the standpoint of businesses war to acquire or defend resources. Economics is how we manage the resources we have access to and control of. We have enough business. It's time to fix our economics. Once we fix our economics, we can begin to go back to and begin to grow our business base. In the black business sector, we open more businesses per year than any other group of people in America. Black women open more businesses to the order of three times the national average. Some, in, in some places, as much as six times the national average. Black men are not far behind that. The problem is not business. The problem is economics. The problem is management of resources. The, prob the problem is support lines. The problem is supply lines. And we'll get into a little bit later about why that is. That's a lesson for another video. And I know I went a little bit off track and whatnot, but it's important to understand not only what economics is, not only what business is, but also how we need to be thinking about these things and applying these things so that we can move forward with wherever it is we're trying to go. I need you guys to do a few things for me, okay? One, I need you guys to click the subscribe button that's popping up so that you're notified of any new videos that I put out. Two, I need you guys to like, share, and comment on the videos. Preferably visiting the blacknesslives.com site. And three, I need you guys to click on one of these two links that are popping up. The first link popping up is the three minutes with Pat series, so you can see all the videos I've done. You can also see them all if you go to blacknesslives.com. Or if you click on this link popping up right now, it'll take you to some of the older coaching videos that I've been doing on um, personal improvement and things like that. Finally, if you need services for your organization, be a business, not for profit or otherwise, uh, startup, strategies, change of directions, efficiency, effectiveness, or anything of that sort, branding, whatever it needs may be, go ahead and contact me. You can send me an email at patrick at thinkfreebefree.com or you can send one in general to info at thinkfreebefree.com. Uh, you know, speaking services or no matter what it might be, go ahead and hit me up. Or you can just hit me up and tell me what a wonderful job you're doing and how I've changed your life. You know, I love those as well. So go ahead, hit me up, stay up, and I'll see you guys later.